The law of averages is a powerful concept that when understood can shift the way you approach success. The parable of the sower is a perfect illustration of this. First, recognize the wisdom of the sower. He wasn't just anyone sent to sow seeds. He was smart and ambitious qualities crucial for success. Ambition, however, must be balanced. As one wise person said, I've learned to be both ambitious and content. It's not ambition itself that's dangerous, but how it's directed. The Bible offers profound wisdom on this balance. Be faithful over a few, and I will make you ruler over many before you can handle great wealth or responsibility. You must prove your faithfulness in small things. The key isn't having more resources, but developing the right philosophy about how to manage them. A simple test is how one handles even a small amount, like a child with a dollar. If a child spends the whole dollar without understanding its value, they're set on a path that doesn't lead to abundance. This lesson is crucial because small decisions shape larger outcomes. Back to the sower, he was smart, hardworking and ambitious, and he had the best seeds. But when he sowed the seeds, the first batch fell by the wayside and was eaten by birds. Here's the lesson life has its inevitable setbacks, and as a leader, it's essential to prepare for them. Birds, distractions, negativity, circumstances will come and take some of the seeds. It's not unusual, it's just life. The key is not to chase after these birds because that takes you away from the field where you should be sowing more seeds. This lesson applies to those building teams or organizations. Sometimes people you recruit won't show up or get distracted by others' doubts or outside influences. If you spend time chasing every distraction, you'll lose focus. Stay in the field, keep planting seeds, and let the law of averages work. A key principle here is that you can either build the tallest building by working hard or tear down everyone else's, but tearing others down will ultimately ruin your reputation. Success comes from persistence and focus, not from chasing after distractions. Now, the sower didn't stop sowing when the birds took the first batch. Some seeds fell on rocky ground where they sprouted but didn't survive the heat. This is another inevitability. Some people will start strong but won't stick around when things get tough. But again, that's life. The sower didn't stop, he kept sowing. Some seeds fell among thorns, which choked them. These thorns represent the cares and distractions of life, those little things that prevent people from focusing on bigger opportunities. But like before, the sower didn't waste time mourning those losses. He kept sowing. Some seeds fell on good ground. Not all good ground produces the same yield. Some will give 30%, some 60%, and some 100%. This is where the law of averages comes into play. You'll meet people who only give 30%, and that's okay. Some will give 60%, and that's better. But then you'll find the rare ones who give 100%. Your job is to stay in the game long enough to find them and to skillfully lead everyone else along the way. Even if only a fraction of your seeds find good soil, the rewards are worth it. The key is to stay the course, sow more seeds, and not let the inevitable setbacks discourage you. Master the law of averages, and you'll find success, growth, and those exceptional individuals who will make all the difference. So keep sharing your good ideas, keep planting those seeds, and trust the law of averages to lead you to success. The good ground is out there, you just have to keep sowing. The journey doesn't stop at merely finding good ground. Once you've embraced the law of averages and stayed persistent despite setbacks, there's more to learn about maximizing your results and refining your approach. When the seeds finally land on good ground, your work isn't over, it's just beginning. Even good ground requires nurturing to reach its full potential. Some people you mentor or bring into your business will need guidance, encouragement, and ongoing support. Not everyone will be a 100% ER right away. Some may start at 30% or 60%, but with the right cultivation, they can grow into the 100% ears you're aiming for. This is where leadership truly shines. It's not about discarding the 30% ears or the 60% ears. It's about recognizing their potential and guiding them towards greater success. A great leader sees the value in every individual and understands that even small improvements compound over time. Think about it this way, some of the seeds that fall on good ground might produce 30% this season, but next season with the right care, they could produce 60%. With enough attention and development, that same seed might eventually yield 100%. It's a gradual process, but it's a process that's entirely worth the effort. This brings us to a vital quality discipline. As you go through the ups and downs, it's easy to get disheartened, but discipline in the face of disappointment is what separates those who succeed from those who give up. The wise sower knew that not every seed would thrive immediately, but he kept on sowing season after season because he understood the principle of averages and the inevitability of challenges. 
patience is closely tied to discipline. There's often a gap between sowing and reaping, and during this period, you may not see results. But that's when patience becomes a valuable ally. It helps you to keep working, keep nurturing, and keep improving your process, even when the outcomes aren't immediate. Another lesson from the sower is the importance of focusing on what you can control. You can't control the birds, the rocky ground, or the thorns. You can't make every seed fall on good ground. But what you can control is the amount of seed you sow and the effort you put into tending the seeds that do find good soil. Similarly, in life and leadership, you can't control every external factor, but you can control your actions, your work ethic, and your persistence. You can control how you respond to setbacks and how you support those around you. The wise sower didn't waste time chasing birds or fighting thorns. He focused on sowing more seeds. He knew that, over time, the law of averages would work in his favor. This is a critical mindset shift. If you spend all your energy chasing distractions or dwelling on losses, you lose valuable time that could be spent on more productive tasks. Consistency is another key takeaway from the sower story. The sower didn't just sow once and stop. He continued sowing, understanding that success is a cumulative process. Every day you sow a little more, and every day you move a little closer to your ultimate goal. The same principle applies in business, leadership, or any personal pursuit. Consistent effort, even in the face of disappointment, creates momentum. Over time, this momentum leads to breakthroughs. It's easy to want immediate results, but the real rewards come from sticking with the process day after day. After seasons of sowing, enduring disappointments, and cultivating the seeds that fell on good ground, the sower begins to reap the rewards. The seeds that survive and thrive produce a bountiful harvest. This is where the law of averages pays off. The lesson here is simple success comes to those who persist. If you keep showing up, keep putting in the work, and keep your focus on the long term, the harvest will come. You may not see it right away, and some seasons will yield less than others, but the law of averages ensures that, in the end, you will find your success. As a leader, your role is to stay focused on the big picture, keep sowing seeds, and guide others through the process. Understand that not everyone will get there at the same pace, and that's okay. Some people will take longer to develop, and some will give up along the... But if you keep your eyes on the field and not on the distractions, you'll create an environment where growth can happen. Remember, great leadership isn't about forcing everyone to be 100% ears from the start. It's about nurturing them, teaching them, and guiding them to maximize their potential. You're not just planting seeds, you're cultivating a harvest of future leaders, team members, or ideas that will grow beyond what you could have imagined at the beginning. The parable of the sower is a timeless reminder of how the law of averages works in life and business. Not every seed will find fertile ground, and not every effort will yield immediate results. But if you stay consistent, disciplined, and patient if you keep sowing, despite the birds, the thorns, and the rocky ground, you'll eventually reap the rewards of your labor. In the end, it's about the long game. It's about understanding that success is built over time and that every seed sown is a step toward something greater. The law of averages may not guarantee success with every effort, but it promises that if you keep sowing, success will come. So keep planting, keep leading, keep believing in the process, because the harvest is always worth the wait. Once the sower reaps the rewards, the story highlights one more key lesson, the multiplication effect. The seeds that fall on good ground don't just produce one-for-one -one results, they multiply. In the story, some produce 30-fold, some 60-fold, and some even 100-fold. This multiplication is critical because it means that the efforts you put in today can lead to exponential results over time. It's a principle that applies not only to farming but to any aspect of life, whether it's building a business, nurturing relationships, or developing yourself personally. The right efforts, when placed in fertile ground, will multiply beyond your original investment. Think about the impact of mentoring someone. When you invest time in teaching and guiding them, that person may go on to mentor others spreading the knowledge and wisdom you imparted. This creates a ripple effect where your initial effort multiplies into something far greater than what you could have achieved alone. In business, the same holds true. The relationships you build, the knowledge you share, and the seeds you plant can multiply into greater returns, whether through expanding your network, increasing profits, or creating a lasting legacy. As a leader, you're in the business of sowing seeds. Every interaction, every lesson, and every idea you share is a seed planted in the minds of those you lead. Some of these seeds will take root immediately, while others might take time to grow, and some may not grow at all. But if you remain consistent in your efforts,
The law of averages ensures that over time, enough seeds will find good ground and produce results. Leadership isn't about controlling every outcome, it's about creating an environment where people can grow. By understanding the inevitables of life, you can guide your team through their challenges, helping them to navigate the distractions, the birds, the rocky ground, and the thorns. You empower them to stay focused on the bigger picture and to keep sowing their own seeds. At the core of this parable is a profound truth success is a process. There's no shortcut to a bountiful harvest. It takes time, patience, and a willingness to embrace the challenges that come along the way. There will always be birds, thorns, and rocky ground, but the law of averages guarantees that if you stay in the field and keep working, your efforts will eventually pay off. This mindset is powerful because it reframes how we view failure and setbacks. Instead of seeing them as reasons to quit, we understand them as part of the process. We learn to discipline our disappointment, as the story suggests, and focus on what we can control our efforts, our attitude, and our ability to keep moving forward. This is especially important for leaders who face constant challenges in guiding others. Not every initiative will succeed, and not every team member will thrive. But by continuing to lead, to teach, and to plant seeds, you ensure that over time, success becomes inevitable. Resilience is the ability to keep going even when, even when the immediate results don't meet your expectations. It's the capacity to stay committed to your goals despite the distractions and setbacks. The sower's story is ultimately about resilience. He faced multiple challenges, birds, rocky ground, thorns, but he didn't give up. He kept sowing, knowing that some of his seeds would eventually find the right conditions to grow. In life and leadership, resilience is the trait that allows you to endure through the difficult seasons. It's what helps you persist when others might give up. The law of averages favors those who stay the course because the longer you stay in the game, the more likely you are to find success. A final takeaway from the parable of the sower is the importance of long-term vision. The sower wasn't focused on immediate results. He understood that farming is a long-term endeavor. He sowed his seeds knowing that not every seed would bear fruit right away. Similarly, in life and leadership, you need to keep your focus on the long-term. This means setting goals that go beyond short-term wins and losses. It means understanding that real success often comes after years of persistence, learning, and growth. When you have a long-term vision, you're less likely to be discouraged by temporary setbacks because you understand that they're just part of the journey. The parable of the sower is a rich metaphor for life, leadership, and success. It teaches us that setbacks are inevitable, but they don't define our outcomes. The law of averages is a reminder that if we keep working, keep planting seeds, and stay committed to our goals, success will come. Keep sowing even when the birds come. Keep sowing even when the ground is rocky. Keep sowing even when the thorns try to choke your efforts. Because in the end, the seeds that fall on good ground will grow and some of them will produce extraordinary results. Your job as a leader is to stay focused, remain resilient, and trust in the process. If you do that, the law of averages will ensure that your efforts pay off often in ways far beyond what you could have imagined. So don't get distracted by the small setbacks. Keep planting, keep leading, and keep your eyes on the harvest ahead. Because the seeds you plant today are the foundation of your future success. Consistency is at the heart of the sower's journey in the law of averages. The sower's success isn't based on any single action, but on his unwavering commitment to planting seeds day after day. He doesn't let setbacks stop him, and he doesn't allow distractions to pull him away from his mission. This is a powerful lesson in life success comes to those who stay consistent. Many people start with enthusiasm, but when they face obstacles, the birds, the rocky ground, the thorns, they lose momentum. They abandon the field, convinced that their efforts are in vain. But the sower understood that results take time, and that true success is often found by those who continue to put in the work, even when the rewards aren't immediately visible. Whether you're building a business, developing a skill, or working toward a personal goal, the key is to show up consistently. Even on the tough days, even when you feel like the birds have taken more than their share, you must keep planting. Every day you continue, you increase your odds of success. This is the essence of the law of averages. The more you do, the more likely you are to find success. Alongside consistency, patience is a crucial component of the sower's mindset. The harvest doesn't come immediately after the seeds are planted. There's a season of waiting where it seems like nothing is happening. Yet, during this time, the seeds are quietly growing beneath the surface, preparing to break through the soil. In life, it's easy to become impatient, especially in a world that values instant gratification. 
We want immediate results, whether it's in our careers, relationships, or personal development. But the most meaningful successes often take time. Patience is the ability to trust the process and allow things to unfold at their own pace. When you're working toward a goal, there will be moments when you feel like your efforts aren't paying off. It might seem like you're sowing and sowing without seeing any growth. But if you remain patient and keep working, you'll eventually see the fruits of your labor. A central theme of the sower story is the idea that setbacks are not just possible, they are inevitable. The birds, the rocky ground, and the thorns all represent challenges that will arise along the way. They are part of life and no one is immune to them. However, the sower doesn't let these setbacks stop him. He doesn't chase the birds, lament the rocky ground, or give up when the thorns choke some of his plants. Instead, he accepts these obstacles as part of the process and keeps moving forward. In your own life, setbacks are going to happen. The question is how you respond to them. Will you let them discourage you or will you learn from them and keep going? The most successful people aren't those who never face adversity, but those who learn how to manage it. They understand that each setback is temporary and they keep their eyes on the bigger picture. The key here is to discipline your disappointment. It's natural to feel frustrated when things don't go as planned, but don't let that frustration cause you to lose focus. Instead, view each challenge as an opportunity to grow stronger and more resilient. Every time you overcome an obstacle, you become better prepared for the next one. One of the most profound lessons from the sower story is that you can't control everything. The birds, the rocky ground, and the thorns are all outside the sower's control. What he can control, however, is how much seed he sows and how consistently he does it. In life, it's easy to get caught up in the things we can't control, whether it's other people's opinions, external circumstances, or unexpected challenges. But focusing on these things only leads to frustration. The sower's success comes from focusing on what he can control his own actions, his work ethic, and his persistence. As a leader or as someone working toward a goal, the same applies to you. You can't control the outcome of every effort, but you can control your attitude and your actions. You can choose to keep planting, keep working, and keep working, and keep learning. When you focus on what you can control, you empower yourself to keep moving forward no matter what challenges arise. After all the challenges, the birds, the rocky ground, the thorns, the sower finally experiences the reward of bountiful harvest. This is the moment when all his hard work pays off, when the seeds that fell on good ground produced 30, 60, or even 100 times more than what was sown. It's important to remember that success is a process that culminates in moments of victory. These moments are worth celebrating because they are the result of your persistence, patience, and resilience. But success isn't just about the harvest, it's about the journey that led you there. In the same way, when you achieve your goals, take time to reflect on the effort it took to get there. Celebrate your wins, but also appreciate the lessons you learned along the way. Each setback, each challenge, each moment of frustration contributed to your growth and ultimately made the success even sweeter. The final lesson from the sower story is about legacy. The sower didn't just reap a harvest for himself, he created something that would last beyond his immediate efforts. The seeds he planted produced more seeds, which could be sown in the future, continuing the cycle of growth and abundance. As a leader, your legacy is built on the seeds you plant in others. When you mentor someone, when you share your wisdom, when you help someone grow, you're planting seeds that will continue to bear fruit long after your initial efforts. The impact you have on others creates a ripple effect, extending your influence far beyond what you could achieve alone. In your life, think about the seeds you're planting in others. Are you investing in people in a way that helps them grow? Are you creating opportunities for others to succeed? The true measure of success isn't just what you accomplish for yourself, but the positive impact you leave behind for others. The parable of the sower offers timeless wisdom for life, leadership, and personal growth. It teaches us that success is not immediate, that setbacks are inevitable, and that persistence is key. The law of averages ensures that if we keep sowing seeds, we will eventually find success. The birds, the rocky ground, and the thorns are all part of the process, but they don't define the outcome. What defines success is your willingness to keep going, to stay focused on your goals, to keep planting seeds, and to trust that your efforts will pay off in the end. Life is full of distractions and challenges, but those who stay the course, discipline their disappointment, and embrace the journey will find that the law of averages works in their favor. So as you move forward in your own journey, remember the lessons of the sower. Keep sowing, no matter what obstacles arise. 
Keep planting seeds and trust that with time, patience, and consistency, you'll find the good ground that produces the harvest you've been working for. And when that harvest comes, you'll know that all your efforts were worth it. In the end, it's not just about the seeds you plant, it's about the person you become along the way. And that, more than anything, is the greatest reward of all. Like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content from Jim Rohn.